Hey guys, um, so I wanted to do a quick video uh, about why I'm replacing the short throw shifter from the, uh, the B&M one to, to the Siki. Um, and basically it comes down to a few things. So right now the B&M is installed. And essentially the problem is that the shifter mount is not centered with the opening here and so if you look down from the bottom you'll see that the whole shifter mechanism is sort of moved up and to the right so looking directly above you'll see that it's kind of off and to the right um, so that kind of makes it a little bit weird the other way the way the the little lever is positioned is it goes straight back and then kind of off at an angle so if you see neutral it's actually kind of leaning back. And then if you put it into first, it's vertical, right? So the one through fives are more or less vertical. Neutral is sort of back where, you know, second, fourth, and sixth should be. And then second is just all the way back. And at this position, this is kind of centered more in the middle in terms of forward and back. So it's not, that's not my favorite positioning of it. The other issue that I've had is that the centering action doesn't quite work. So, so this kind of goes forward, but here, so you see like this is actually neutral. So you go here, it doesn't click back. But if we go five, six, that clicks back. That doesn't, you need an extra like click you need to like give it a little force to move it back there um and yeah the other thing i noticed is like one one three and like like one two and three five are a lot closer together it's very difficult to tell which one it is but you know with five six it's much easier to tell and i don't know if that's just the inner workings of the transmission but when i had the stock one on i remember it being a lot more distinct so I think it's just the shifter. And yeah, it's like three and four are not exactly aligned. It's not like a straight back motion. It's a little bit off to the right. So yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like this thing. <laughs> I, I really don't. And I really, and again, if you go, uh, I think that's reverse. Yeah, so if you go all the way, it's like stretching this part out. Yeah, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't really, really like it. Um, so the reason I went with this one is because it actually moves the pivot point further back. Uh, so if you go and look at the stock one, so this is the one that came stock. The actual shifter, um, the part that goes down in the transmission, that is actually offset by the pivot point over here. So this one matches that one uh, a lot more, right? So it matches in terms of that. So this will be centered on the actual a hole in the frame but yeah with, with the B&M one as you can see this mechanism here is you know this part is like here right so the the shifter here is mounted where this is and then this just kind of goes back and up so and it's not as far back as this it's probably about here somewhere so this part will move the shifter back and the pivot point to be centered with the actual opening in the uh, interior. So, and the other thing of course, is that this only connects in two spots, whereas this will connect in four and it will be replacing the whole stock uh, assembly. Um, so it'll, it'll be on there firmer and it will be significantly better. So, yeah. So that's that's why I'm replacing it, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense.
All right, so I took the trans, the, uh, the uh, top off here. And yeah, as you can see, it's not a very good design. Like I said, this is all the way forward. This is shifted up and it's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't think it's a very good design. And it only attaches at these two points here, as you can see. These two bolts are the only things that attach. There's nothing attached in the front, which makes it not ideal. So the new one is supposed to put the pivot point right there, which is right in the center of this area. So yeah, so, and I think it replaces this part right here as well. So that will be, that'll be a nice, nice change there. So yeah. I um, also think I'm leaking, so changing out the fluid and the gasket will be ideal as well. All right, got this guy off and definitely found the leak. <laughs> it's not super dramatic, but <sighs> yeah. So. Anyway, yeah, I guess I could just leave that on there. All right, so this, yeah. So I probably can replace this guy too. Although it looks fine, but yeah. So installing the new shifter. I obviously put the gasket in, but No problem. No problem at all. That looks pretty sweet. I wish this whole transmission looked that nice, but hey, it's nice. Um, the other thing I noticed about the B&M shifter, which again is why I just hate this thing. I think it wasn't just that this gasket was leaking. It was also the fact that, you know, this thing just kind of you know, sat on top of here, like so, and was, and was just bolted down. I think it was like leaking from under here because there's no gasket under here. Right? And I don't know, maybe maybe I was supposed to reuse... I mean, there's no gasket here. This doesn't really come off. There wasn't a gasket from the original, right? That was just that plastic bit that went into here. So I don't know, but yeah, it was like leaking through, up through this area. So it flooded this whole chamber with fluid and then leaked all over the thing, plus this gasket leaked through. So yeah, this design, this design is just crap, man. I am so sad I got it. If anybody wants to buy it, uh, 250 like new. Maybe, maybe 10,000 miles. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, uh, but yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll put that new shifter on there and that should be fine. Um, but yeah. All right, the, the Siki has been installed. New gasket, Loctite on the bolts. I can already tell that the gaps between neutral first and second and fifth and sixth are much better, so. This is a little tough because there's no oil right now and the, obviously it's very short, but I already like it way better than it used to be. So that will be, that'll be a good addition. All right, so because of some clearance issues, we had to remove the shifter, but we finally got the transmission in. So now it's just a matter of putting this guy in. So I got the gasket right there. 
Uh, yeah, so now it's just a matter of lining this through the hole. So make sure that it's seated properly. All right. And then just bolt these down. Probably put a little blue Loctite on there. And just screw them in. Easy as that. Alright, bolts are tightened down, and already I can tell it's gonna be sweet. So, yeah, it's perfectly, so once this raises up, this will be perfectly centered right there. Just so sweet. Alright, very cool. Now, get the transmission fully back in. Alright. The shifter is installed, and it feels good. Um, so the way I had to attach it, so I didn't have like the right uh, rod, so I had to retrofit the old one. Um, so it is like a little bit to the left now, but miles and miles better than what it used to be. So, let me get the other one on. All right, there it is. So, almost perfectly centered. First, where first needs to be. Second, where second needs to be. Third, where third needs to be. Fourth, straight back. Fifth. No, that, that's fifth. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's three. That's five, six. One, two. Okay, so one and two are a lot more over to the right. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not used to because it, it used to be like all the way over here. But no, oh yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's got that fifth, sixth, short throws, and that's reverse. And it's a little like like shorter like not as not as high up so oh man i love it that is going to be some good shifting right there Woo! so yeah one and three are distinct from five and six yeah so they kind of click into place but yeah now that that's good so yeah sicky highly recommend B&M, garbage.